guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is episode 131, I think. <laughs> it is cold. I'm wearing my sweater. This is my favorite sweater. I always wear this in the house. Messy hair. And down at the bottom it says, don't care. <laughs> and it's got Ariel on it because I love Disney. And I have crazy messy hair. <laughs> I washed my hair last night, so it's got its wave in it again. Um, so, yeah, it's going to look crazy. <laughs> my hair is crazy when it's natural, <laughs> when I don't flatten it or whatever. Anyways, I got a few finished objects to share with you. Two of them I have to show you pictures of because I gifted them. Uh, and I got some whips to show you. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> I don't, um, I did a Happy Mail video, ye was that yesterday? Yesterday, and like a Johan Joanne's Dollar Tree Hobby Lobby haul. So if you want to see any of my acquisitions, then be on that video, <laughs> which I put out yesterday, which was, what was yesterday? Monday, the 28th of December. I, uh, I put my newly gotten yarn in a up here and I put that little tiny one that way so you can see it <laughs> it's so cute and I looked online and they actually have Halloween colors of those two they one called boo and one called monster and um, I might have to get some of those <laughs> but uh, I'm trying to move I got I got a pile up there <laughs> all of my new yarns I've been getting I've just been kind of piling up there and I gotta I gotta do something with it I gotta fix it and all the girly colors are on this side I tried to keep them organized by colors kind of that random blue one needs to be moved down there but um this is my amigurumi yarn so uh it doesn't matter if it's organized or not <laughs> i guess anyways let's get into it okay so my finished objects i made four of these they got 100 percent finished <laughs> last week um two of them were gifted but these are the hobby horses that was put out by suzanne over at uh god crochet and chatter she made a video for these if you look at it head on, the, the ears are totally messed up. I did not center the ears very well at all, but that's okay. But uh, I got this brown one and this green one. I still have that I'm gonna roll over till to Christmas 2021. <laughs> and I plan on making a bunch more of these sometime next year. Uh, and I got a ton of candy canes still. So uh, I'm just gonna make them throughout the year and put them in a, wa in a box. But also I had a red one and a white one and I'll pop up pictures of them. But I gifted them to my neighbors, my upstairs neighbors, because <laughs> I thought they were the cutest out of the four. But um, yeah, so I got two for next year, next year, almost this year. <laughs> it's still uh, 2020. But anyways, that is a free video tutorial, and she also has it written in the description, the written out part of it, <laughs> if you don't like video that much. Uh, I prefer to read a pattern than to watch a pattern, but I can do either. I just prefer reading. Because I, I like to print it out or have it on, like, my phone. So I can do other stuff while working on it. But I love that little pattern. It's super quick. It's good for scraps. Um, and then I got these little jingle bells at the Dollar Tree. They have them sometimes year-round. But they especially have them during Christmas in, like, the Christmas stuff. But I have found them in just the craft aisle. And the googly eyes was from uh, Dollar Tree as well. So, yeah. Really quick and easy little pattern. I like that and I plan on making like a million of them this year because I want to my idea is to like give them to all my family members but also maybe have some just with me at like all times because <laughs> hopefully Christmas 2021 will be better than Christmas 2020 and we'll be able to interact with strangers again because <laughs> it'd be fun at Christmas events that we go to normally to uh you know hand them out to people I think that would be fun that's way to make people happy but uh so I made four of those a hundred percent I started another one and I just haven't finished it yet because I get sidetracked easily. But my next finished object, I actually made this on Christmas Day. I like to make a little project on Christmas Day and like New Year's Day and, you know, every holiday. Usually I try to make just a little something just as a, um, like a reminder of that holiday. So this year I was just looking around for something cute to make and um, I thought it'd be good to make a good luck token <laughs> to hopefully make uh, 2021 better than 2020 wrap this yarn up and I made it with this yarn that was recently gifted it is Mary Maxim Starlet the color is emerald it's a uh, number four um, sparkly yarn <laughs> and so I made this with it it's a four-leaf clover it's a little like amigurumi you make uh, two of this and then you sew them to or I crochet them together and I did, I did put a little bit of stuffing in there, but I actually didn't use stuffing because I didn't want it to shell through. I used some of the yarn. So uh, it's stuffed with yarn <laughs> just so that it would be green. And um, 
I did the chaining thing and the stem differently than what was written. I just did my own thing so that it would all be attached because I made the two pieces and then when I crocheted them together, I made this little thing and this um, with that same yarn so that I'd only have a couple ends to weave in instead of uh, having to cut it and reattach and all that. But yeah, so I have this hanging in my living room where we can see it and hopefully it'll help bring a little bit of good luck to our next year <laughs> but this is a free pattern also it's called i think lucky clover and i'll link it below in the description everything i talk about will be linked below in, this, in the description box <laughs> but um i can't remember what the person is who wrote this but it'll be linked below regardless and it's a free little pattern and it works up super quick yeah so those are my finished objects this week uh i haven't crocheted a whole lot on things to show you I am working on my own pattern because for 2021 one of my goals is to put out a pattern every month try to <laughs> and uh, so I've been working on that and I'll give you a little sneak peek of it my my uh, they're not all gonna be amigurumis maybe they might be I don't know I haven't gotten that far but this one's gonna be amigurumi so there's part of it and here's its little feet <laughs> but um, so I'm just gonna work every month and try to get at least something written and put up in my Etsy shop because my idea is to have more passive income coming in for uh, my family so anyways but there's um, the sneak peek of January's pattern I don't know when it'll be out in January I'm trying to work on it really quickly and get it out in early January but um, we'll see about that <laughs> and I am working on another test pattern that's been taking up a lot of my time because it's it's a large doll and the hair took forever <laughs> but I, I like the hair it, it turned out nice I only have one more piece to make for it and then just put it together all right sorry jesse started an app on his tablet that made a lot of music so i had to cut it what was i saying all right test pattern it's a really tall doll and a lot of hair the hair took like the the hair took longer than the entire doll body did i think <laughs> that's probably just me though mine came out way curlier than it was supposed to but i think it's my tension and stuff but anyway it doesn't matter i'm gonna get it done and send photos and notes to the designer and That'll be that. <laughs> that I'm actually not going to show that pattern to you guys because it's a political pattern and I don't want anything political on my channel. <laughs> and uh, because I don't want people to think I go one way or the other, I don't, I, you know, I want to be Switzerland, I just want to be neutral to it. And um, so I am testing it because they asked me to test it, and I already told them that I wasn't going to share it on my platform because I don't want political crap. I don't know where I had to cut that, but because Jesse went potty and flushed the toilet, so I, I deleted it. I'm going to edit that out of the uh, the video. <laughs> uh, life for kids. But that's okay. Um, yeah. Done talking about the test pattern. Whips. I already showed you my pattern. I'll show you the granny square, um, granny square, granny stitch blanket, my scrap blanket. I'm trying hard to get it finished, but I only got a couple days left. Um, I don't know, I need to lay, lay it, you know, sit on the couch and see how much more. I added um, some scraps, my own scraps to it, and some that was gifted to me. Es Esmeralda um, gifted me some scraps, so I put some of that in here and also um, made something else with some of it. <laughs> but uh, And then I just grabbed some uh, scraps out of my, where's that stitch work? There it is. Um, my personal stash. <laughs> so, let's see here. Right here is the end. <clears throat> right here is where vlogmas ended the last scrap from that so this pink right here this was one that Elsmerilda gifted me is i added it and then down here i added this gray that she also gifted me right yeah and then um the blue color is a scrap i had the orange scraps that i had the green the scraps that I had this pink was the scrap that I had this gray is some more of Elsmerilda's gray <laughs> and this purple was a little tiny scrap that I had so let's see how short it is and actually I have a little tiny scrap left of this pink that she gifted me that I'm gonna put in it and it's probably just enough for a few stitches um, because I'll show you the other thing in a minute but yeah so it's getting longer I'm gonna try to finish this up the next two days because I want to try to have this done before New Year's. I want to have this done because I'm planning on starting a new blanket <laughs> pretty soon. I want to start a Valentine's Day blanket to put on my couch because I like decorating for every holiday. <laughs> if you followed me for any amount of time, you know that. And uh, I got a lot of, well, you can't see it. Where is it? Pinks and reds down there. So I want to make um, 
some sort of Valentine's Day. I found a couple patterns. I just have to pick the one I want. But so I'm trying to um, get this done. I think I can. It's almost as big as I want it, but I still need to add a few more. Moving the stitch marker so that I can update you guys. All right, so let's get in there. It's big. I can't hold it all up. But I showed it all of Vlogmas, so. It's about the size I want it, but I, I want it to be able to, like sometimes I lay on the couch <laughs> and I want to be able to have it over my feet and up to my shoulder so I can snuggle and watch TV. So it's just a little bit more and it'll be that size. <laughs> but this is just a granny stitch, a basic granny stitch blanket. And uh, I used a J hook. It's all worsted weight uh, scraps. And I started with a chain of 141 chains, I believe. And uh, then just started doing the granny stitch back and forth <laughs> in straight lines. Uh, I didn't follow a tutorial because it's just a granny stitch. But there are plenty of tutorials here on YouTube or on the internet. Just type in um, granny, granny stitch blanket and uh, it'll bring it up. Similar ones. So yeah. So there's that. I'm going to put that back in my basket. I keep that in the living room in a tote with all my scraps. And then I just pick it up and work on it randomly. So my last whip is a Valentine's Day decoration. Because <laughs> when I put up my Valentine's Day decorations um, the day after Christmas. And then I put the rest of them yesterday. Uh, I realized I don't have that much. <laughs> Actually, there's some missing. Now that I'm sitting here thinking about it. It's probably in some tote that's in our storage. But um, So I got on... Uh, Ravelry and was looking around for Valentine's Day patterns and I found a few that I want to try to make but one thing I want to make is some garlands. I want to make some garlands for Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, and Easter because I only have one for each of those and I have four places to hang up garlands so I need to make three more of those three holidays. So I'm going to try to do that <laughs> but we'll see. So I found this one pattern uh, that's free and it is called the Heart Garland. I think it's called Easy Heart Garland and uh it'll be linked below it's on the website for free so i made so far i've made three of these hot pink ones <laughs> this is the scrap from Esmeralda. i had enough left over after adding to the blanket to make three of these and then there's a little bit left to add back to the blanket so these are just three rounds there's one round two rounds and then a round of single crochet and uh i gotta weave in the end still and then i will be uh making a chain and then single crochet on top, across the top of the two bumps of the heart and then making a chain attach it on that way. I'll show that once I get there. So I got three of the hot pink ones and then I made three of the like hot red ones. And then I got a lighter color pink that I'm gonna make some of. And then I thought about making some white ones and then I'm gonna put them, you know, every other color in like a sequence. And uh, that's one idea for a garland. I don't know if I'm going to make three of those garlands or if I'm going to make three different garlands. I'm not sure. I haven't gotten that far. But I got six hearts done. So I want to get uh, three of the light pink and then probably three white done. And then, because uh, that'll be 12. And uh, that should be good to space out to hang on in the areas that I don't want to hang on. So Valentine's Day project going. <laughs> But yeah, so that's all my uh, finished objects and my whips so far. I got an idea, or I got a feeling that things are going to boost up now that the holidays is over. Because like I said, I want to work on those garlands. I'm designing that pattern. I want to work on a new blanket after this one's done. And uh, so there'll be more to show <laughs> now that the holidays is over and things are slowing back down. I'm about to go in there and start cutting fabric. I got to clean my table off. <laughs> but um I gotta get all the outer fabric, liner fabric, uh, batting, interfacing, all that stuff cut so that I know how many bags I'm gonna be making. And then uh, just write down my schedule because I always write it down what I need, you know, my steps. And then I can start sewing. I'm probably, I'll probably cut fabric today and tomorrow. And then I'll start sewing probably this weekend, Saturday, which is like the second, I think. And then uh, sew for like three or four days. So. My update might be maybe Tuesday, Wednesday next week, but it might also be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, <laughs> whenever I get around to it. I'm trying not to pressure myself too much. But there will be tote bags and possibly drawstring bags. For sure tote bags. Because I want to make the totes that I bought fabric for. And then I got a lot of fabric gifted to me recently that I'll probably make uh, drawstring bags out of. And uh, I still have a bunch of fabric here that's good for liners. So, yeah. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and go get, get this stuff put away and get to cutting fabric because <laughs> i got to get started on that. It's it's still pretty early here. It's almost 9 o'clock. I've been up since 
5.50, I think is when I woke up, when Devin was getting ready to leave. I already got a workout in today, and I plan on doing another one later, uh, a walk. And, uh, yeah, so there's that. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.